Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and this is my channel, Kristen Alyssa. Yes. So for those of you who don't know, I am a dental student and um, I'm in my second year of dental school. Throughout these past couple years, I've learned quite a bit about dentistry, believe it or not. Well, that's just unexpected and weird. And not only just dentistry is like, you know, the aesthetic part and like, oh, this is how, you know, to make these, your teeth super white and super straight, but just also like the basics of taking care of your teeth every day. And this video is going to show you how I take care of my teeth every night. So stay tuned. Also, I am loving this, like, looking through the mirror at the camera. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay. on whether or not you're supposed to floss first or brush first. And recently I have become a believer in flossing first only because flossing loosens up the bacteria and debris and food or whatever that's between your teeth that the toothbrush can't reach. So it's like you, you dislodge all the food first and then you go on with toothbrushing and it just brushes everything away as opposed to brushing your teeth first and then dislodging all that extra food and bacteria that's between your teeth then it just kind of sits there. So I floss first, and when I take floss, I used to take really short pieces of floss before I got to dental school. Now I learned that the longer, the better. <laughs> um, just kidding, not the longer, the better. <laughs> just You just want a good like working amount. I'd say about this much is good for me. And I just start the same place every time, which is my back left quadrant. And I go in and out, and I want to fit the, the, the tooth, what is this called again? The floss around the contours of my teeth, so I'm not just going up and down, up and down. I'm wrapping the floss into every curvature that I can. Do you see the hand motion? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, here's a close up. <laughs> Slow motion. Done. <laughs> so after I floss my teeth, I am gonna go in and brush them. I highly recommend um, using an electric toothbrush. I never used one until I really got to dental school. And let me say, it has transformed my oral hygiene. I genuinely believe my teeth feel so much cleaner and it's just way better. Also, another thing you want to make sure is you're using a soft bristle brush, not hard. Just because a brush is harder doesn't mean it's cleaning your teeth better. It's actually hurting your teeth. Over time, that abrasion will actually start to wear down your enamel and your dentin will start to show through. Your dentin is yellow, so your teeth will look yellow. So. Soft bristle toothbrush, not aggressive, holding it up at like a 45 degree angle so it can get up into the gums. So take the toothbrush and hold it at a 45 degree angle and do small circular motions. Don't hold it straight on, angle it up to where the bristles can get underneath your gums. This rule applies whether or not you are using an electric toothbrush or a traditional mechanical toothbrush. Also, another important thing about brushing your teeth is the toothpaste you use. I use Prevident. It's a prescription toothpaste that I got from my dentist. And so you won't be able to just pick it up in the store, but it does have fluoride. And fluoride is super, super important for the remineralization of your teeth. Um, every day, every time you eat, your teeth are being worn down and demineralized. 
because your teeth are minerals. So your teeth tooth is being worn down and being demineralized. And so every time you brush your teeth, you want something with fluoride and fluoride helps remineralize your teeth and build it back up so that your teeth aren't constantly being worn down. step and the step that I feel like has made the biggest impact on my oral hygiene routine since I started doing it is using a tongue scraper. Just scrape that tongue. Okay. What a tongue scraper does is basically what you do with your toothbrush at the end of brushing your teeth. You're supposed to brush your tongue. And if you have a traditional toothbrush, the way you go about that is just by sticking out your tongue, brushing your tongue and getting, I kind of brush it until, until my tongue is pink, like purely. And so the way you do that with a regular toothbrush is to just stick your tongue out and brush it. Like that. With the tongue scraper, you do the exact same thing, but it's more effective of removing more bacteria that cause bad breath. And so this is major key if you struggle with bad breath, um, no amount of breath mints, no amount of gum is going to cover it up. Hi, I am very ugly, but you should enjoy the movie anyway. You have to start from where the source, by taking care of your mouth. The way you do that is the same way, you just scrape your tongue with the tongue scraper. And you scrape it down, and it gets kind of nasty because it's like saliva coming out, but I promise you, my breath, unless my friends have something else to say, my breath has always remained fresh when I use my tongue scraper. Major key. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you liked something, if you learned something from it, also give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much again for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to do a whitening routine, like my white, my teeth whitening routine. And um, yeah, have a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye. Smile for me, daddy. What you looking at? Let me see your grill. Let me see your what? Your grill, your, your, your grill.